Hey, it's Vaughn here at jazzdrumschool.com. Aloha, hope you're doing well. So uh, in this video lesson, what I want to share with you is a new thing I've been doing lately to strengthen my left hand playing on the drum set. I recently did a poll here on my channel and got a lot of great response. I'm very happy about that. And I could see that overwhelmingly, uh, y'all having a hard time with the, the weak hand thing. So that you know, definitely you have a, one hand is weaker than the other when you're playing the drums. The people who who responded that they are equal, like they don't have any issue with that, I would love for you to drop a comment below this video and let me know what you've done to keep your hands and to get your hands to a place where you feel that they're both equal in terms of their strength. I would love to know what you're doing. And I'm sure other people here would love to know too. So please uh, drop a comment, let us know. Now what I've been doing lately is practicing basically taking my spangalang or jazz ride cymbal pattern, my swing ride cymbal pattern, and moving it over to my left ride cymbal with my left hand. So, you know, basically I've known for a long time that if I just take everything I do with my stronger hand and I start practicing it with my weaker hand, it, my weaker hand is definitely going to get stronger. There's no way around that, right? Uh, so. Uh, this is something that's really simple to do, and I've actually been practicing working on my coordination uh, with my left hand playing on the ride cymbal lately because I've always wanted to open up my playing, uh, and I just feel like this is a good timing for me to start working on that. So I've been using exercises from my, uh, my coordination exercises from my Intro to Jazz drumming course, and also uh, I'm going to soon start working on coordination exercises from my jazz drumming patterns course. So if you haven't checked those out, I think you'll love them. They'll really help you also improve your coordination as well. All right, so now let's set the metronome to 80 beats per minute. And what we're going to do is just play the hi-hat on two and four and play with our left hand uh, or right hand. If your right hand is, is the weak hand if you're, uh, or if you're a left-handed drummer, uh, you can do the opposite. Uh, I'm going to play with my left hand on the ride cymbal and my hi-hat on two and four. And that's it. I'm not going to worry about my bass drum and my right hand at this point. I'm really just focusing in on strengthening my left hand. One, two, a one, two, ready, go. I don't know if you have the same issue, but the hi-hat doesn't always line up nicely, right, uh, with, with the ride cymbal. And this is one of those things we have to work out. When we're working out new coordination, we have to kind of get the hi-hat and the ride cymbal to connect. Uh, so going slow is a great way to do that. If we start practicing everything too fast, we kind of miss some of those speed bumps that we're supposed to ride over. Uh, and they're going to help strengthen our coordination. So I really encourage you to, again to take really everything slow. Like I always say, play it slow to learn it fast, right? Really go slow with it. And I found that starting off about you know 80 beats per minute is pretty good. Now let's speed it up. Let's knock it up to 100 beats per minute, and let's see how we do with that. One, two, a one, two, ready, go. All right, so how did you do? Pretty good? 
So what we're going to do is we're going to now we're going to just go up. Uh, we're going to raise it up by 20 beats per minute, uh, and we're just going to keep doing that. I'm not going to stop each time and talk. I'm going to just let's just practice now, and let's see how you do. Uh, if you start to feel uh, kind of muscle burn, that's a good thing. That means you're kind of developing your muscles and uh, really uh, kind of strengthening that that weak hand. If you start to feel any kind of uh, tingling or numbness or uh, shooting pain or stabbing pain, you better stop because that's, that's a sign of, of some kind of injury and we don't want to do that. If you have any issues with injury, I encourage you to uh, reach out to me through Zoom lessons. I'm happy to help you with that. I've helped a lot of drummers overcome injury uh, and it really comes down to technique. Uh, so I'm happy to help you as well. I'll put the link below in the description and also uh, the link is here in the video so you can click on that as well. All right, so let's move on. We're going to go up to 120 beats per minute and then we're just going to go up from there. 140, 160, 180, 200 and so on and so forth. And let's just see how fast we can go. One, two, one, a two, a three, a four. So 260 is about where I get off the train. Uh, still, you know, I'm still working on uh, getting my speed up, uh, and uh, certainly it's, it's nowhere near where I can play with my right hand. But I can already feel that kind of burn, right? You can feel that kind of exercise happening all through your forearm, in your wrist area, and even in your hand, the muscles in your hand. 
Uh, now, one of the things you want to I want to note as well is to relax. It's really important to relax. I'm getting as much bounce out of that symbol as I can. I'm not muscling it. So, if you're muscling it and you're trying to you know make every note happen, you're going to get really tired really fast, and you might even injure yourself. So again, if you don't know how to play ride cymbal or you're kind of trying to figure out how to swing on the ride cymbal or how to get good ride cymbal technique, go check out my Intro to Jazz Drumming course. It's not a shameless plug. It's about me wanting to help you uh, because I don't want you to have any kind of injury and I want you to get where you're going with your swing drumming goals as fast as possible. So thanks so much for watching and uh, if you uh, choose to give this a test drive, I'd love to hear how it goes. Let me know kind of where you're maxing out and where you've you can't you know, go beyond in terms of your tempo. And uh, I'd love to know if, it, if it's helping you or if it's not helping you. It's just a great way to connect to support your drumming. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and uh, be sure to like the video. That helps kind of scurry it around YouTube a little faster and uh, get it in front of other drummers who might need help with their weak hand and their drumming. So have fun with that and keep swinging, my friend.